Friday morning. I haven't been on on Friday in like forever. You guys are probably doing exactly what's in the title, spinning the chair. For those of you who may be on a little break and you can sneak it in and catch me, this is gonna be a good one. Um, you may even make a sale, right? <laughs> While you are in the salon today, simply from the information that I'm gonna share and shifting your mindset, right? So that um, you can get some relief from spinning the chair. Hey V babe, how are you dear? Thank you for joining. Uh, so you guys see in the title, you can pay your salon rent, salon suite rent, booth rent without spinning the chair. Like where do they do that at, Miss Tanya? We're gonna talk about that on today. Hey Angela darling, how are you? Thank you for joining. We're gonna talk about that on today. I'm gonna do a quick introduction for those who've never been on a live broadcast with me before. <clears throat> um, and then ask you guys a favor. If you're on and I say something that helps your business or your life, just tap the screen for hearts. Show your girl a little love. Let me know it's registering for you. And then Keisha, darling, how are you? And then you can um, also share. Push the share button, guys, so that another industry professional on your timeline or your friends list could get the information as well. Hey, Key, the key experience. How are you? I'm learning like everybody's taglines and um you know a little about their brand as we're connected on social media so that's awesome little miss sweetness hey girl on parent no that's uh the gram how are you so you guys see in the title um you can pay your salon rent booth rent without spinning the chair and i want to talk to you guys about how to do that i'm also not only going to talk to you about how to do it but i'm going to tell you the benefits of doing it and um kind of share some of the experiences that my clients have had who have worked with me and applied um, some of the strategies um, that I teach around this particular concept. So for those of you just joining, I'm Tanya Wilson Cherry, beauty business consultant and certified life coach. I am actually a transformational growth specialist, so I help you see massive growth as a salon owner and hairstylist in your business. And one of the ways I'm able to do that is because I teach from a full circle perspective. So I teach mindset, um, personal development, and business building, right? And so because I teach from that perspective, you get it all. You get it full circle. Uh, Nita, naturals, how are you, dear? You get it full circle. And so we all know or if you don't know, if you haven't been in the industry long enough and you haven't recognized it yet, your um, how you grow personally is basically how your business grows because we take all of our habits and our mindset especially into the concepts that we do in our business. <clears throat> and one huge concept I really uh, work with, with my clients is to you know, start with what's already in their hands. So many times we're reaching for external things and we're looking for the new this and the new that when there are many ways to capitalize off of what we're doing just by what's in our hands, right? And so we're going to talk about one thing that, you know, some of you may have overlooked, some of you may have attempted to do before and um, maybe you didn't see the results or you kind of forgot about it. Um, you didn't make it priority. And so it's now like maybe one of those things that you, you don't even think about or you think about and don't put into practice that can bring you tons of revenue. This thing that we're going to talk about on today can actually pay your salon rent, your salon suite rent, and your booth rent. Just this strategy, um, the strategies around this concept can do that alone, right? So that's not including uh, the time that you're spending the chair. For those of you who are... Um, salon owners and you're looking to become the visionary of your place having a strategy for uh, the concept that we'll talk about will help you to replace some of those hours behind the chair um, to replace that income right you guys want to talk about that working smarter and not harder <clears throat> another stream of revenue uh, multiple streams of revenue uh, making what you do on a daily basis a lot easier and adding more value to your customers and what is that thing it's Retail, guys, it's retail. Um, you know, many times we're looking to go to our next level. We want to make more money and we make the grave mistake of focusing more on, you know, let me get more customers, which means that we're trading more of our time for, for dollars, right? It means like we just got to go and be behind that chair more and more and more. And today's hairstylists and salon owners are all looking for ways that they can earn more money 
but not necessarily stay in the shop, you know, 12 and 14 hours, you know, sometimes feeling like they have to be in there five to seven days. And retail is one of the easiest and, and most accessible ways for you to begin doing that. So how many of you, y'all let's be honest, even if you come back in on the replay, have products that are just sitting on the shelf? How many of you have products now? Because remember I said, most of the time we started, we have great intentions, right? Um, but somehow or another in the busyness of doing hair, um, Keisha said she, she clicked on at the right time and the right date, awesome. Um, in the busyness of doing hair, we forget that we have these products that are on the shelves. You know, maybe the shelf got a little dusty, <laughs> right? Um, maybe we just, we're just in that busy flow of, you know, taking another client and getting another customer in and out, in and out of the chair. So many of you, Nedra said she, you know, she has products that are, um, uh, is it Netta? So she has products that are sitting on the shelf. And a couple things. I don't think anyone ever wants to feel like they're just constantly trying to sell someone something. If that's you guys, if you guys agree with me, right? We, we never want to feel like we're just constantly trying to sell someone something. And for many stylists, you may already be saying, well, she's already given me $85 or $100 for her particular service today with me. She may not be able to afford to get retail. So I'm not even going to bother to mention what I have that I know is going to help maintain the integrity of uh, her hair or the service that she's getting. Um, Keisha says she has her own hair product line, so this is perfect. Awesome, Keisha. I want to bring you guys value. So those are the thoughts we're thinking Yay. like, man. And then this is another thing, guys. And this is why I say we build our business based on our belief. We got to be so careful when we're thinking about building our business and pricing our services because if we are in a space of, you know, maybe it's a season where you may be experiencing some lack, right? Has anybody, yeah, is it just me that's ever, you know, been in that place before? Um, so maybe you're in a place where you're experiencing some lack and in your mind, you're saying they probably can't afford this, but what you're really doing is you're basing your business on what you can afford at the time. And this is another reason, also, although this isn't necessarily a pricing uh, training that we're talking about, I think I may have talked more on pricing in day one or two of our marathon. <clears throat> but if you are building your business based on what you can afford and you're in a place of lack, then you're judging what, you're, what the consumer can actually afford. Guys, clients normally have one to four products underneath their cabinet, right? Whether they get it from you or someone else, they're getting them. They're seeing advertisements on social media. They're seeing um, <clears throat> infomercials. They're watching television. They're seeing these things. <clears throat> and if you don't become the authority figure in their life about what are actually good products for them, what they should actually use, they're going to buy it. And so why not have them purchase their products from you? So I'm going to give you guys some benefits of retailing. But before I go there, I want to let you guys know that you can always connect with me at RenewFullCircle.com. So outside of social media, you can always reach me there. I offer one-to-one -one consulting for hairstylists and salon owners. I do group coaching programs. I have a membership site uh, called the Mind Your Business Beauty uh, camp and actually there is a retail course in there that um, so many people have gotten such great results from because one of the things about retailing that I want you guys to, to recognize for those of you who are like I don't like selling I don't want to feel like you know I'm asking them to spend more money I don't want them to get frustrated um, retail is not about selling Lord have mercy Somebody tap the screen. I see the hearts on Periscope. Retail is not about selling. It's not, guys. And so inside the Mind Your Business Beauty Camp, I give the secret to retailing, what it's actually about, the strategy um, of retailing. But here I want to give you guys some benefits of retailing that hopefully will shift your thinking about 
this opportunity, this extra revenue stream that you guys are leaving on the table. Because if you could pay your booth rent or your salon suite rent or your salon rent from retail alone, how much would that free you up? Somebody put that in the comments. Would that be a sense of relief for you in your life? See, sometimes leveling up is not always about doing um, so many things are out that are outside of you, but learning how to foundationally go deep on the things that are already available for you. I say all the time, go deep, right, before you go wide. And oftentimes in our industry, we attempt to spread ourselves like really, really thin, right? Um, uh, Keisha said it's a need, a solution for the consumer. Absolutely. So oftentimes we're trying to spread ourselves so thin and do so many things without looking at the possibilities that we have to scale and grow our business with what's already in our hands. And retail is like the easiest because the customer is there. It's right there. You can purchase the product. Um, you're probably using the product on the client and so it's it's not about selling it to them let me give you guys some benefits <clears throat> of retailing and hopefully for those of you who have retail products sitting on the shelf you'll go dust those shelves off right reposition your retail consider purchasing you know a few pieces of retail at a time if you haven't started um you can do it that particular way i have a client who she took my retail and profit course and that course is actually inside my Mind Your Business um, Beauty Camp. But she took that course and she hadn't been retailing. Now, different people get different results based on um, how much of the course they actually put into action and then consistency. How many of you think that consistency plays a big part in you really profiting in any area of your salon business, but definitely with retail, because it's not that thing that you're having to put your hand on all the time. So this particular client took the retail and profit course, and in 30 days, she had made $657. She sent me her... Um, you know her salon program that shows like how much she makes in retail sales and things of that nature she sent me a screenshot of it she had made 657 dollars in the first 30 days and she had not even implemented all of the strategies inside the retail course so guys it's it wasn't like you know she took the course she started implementing and within 30 days, $657. Now, some of you may be saying, you know, that's not a lot of money. But for some of you, that's your booth rent. Somebody tap the screen. For some of you, $657 a month, it's your booth rent or mighty close to it. Or um, it can just cut a big bill out for you. So maybe that's your utility bill at the salon. Maybe that's your um, cell phone bill right your utility a bill at the salon your salon phone bill 657 is good and she hadn't implemented all of the strategies i have another client who made 700 dollars in one day from those same retail strategies right 700 dollars in one day from those same retail strategies now if you guys multiply that just times five that's 3500 dollars per week and you haven't picked up a tool, you haven't, you didn't spin the chair around, that's in something that you're not trading your time for dollars. We got to switch our mentality from thinking that in order to earn more, we have to be more available behind the chair because it's not always the case. Especially in our industry, the way that you market makes a significant difference in the return that you're getting from your customers, new customers. Um, you guys, when you get a chance, you can go to... Uh, my Facebook business page for those of you who aren't on Facebook and I showed another screenshot of a client who said she didn't really retail and she until she took the course and now her clients call her when they make their appointment and tell her what they want they have like a gift bag of products waiting for them already you know set up for them when they come for their services other clients are referring um, her products to other people those people are coming in and now this gives her an opportunity to create a client attraction system for her other staff so retailing guys has so many benefits if you're doing it properly and I think it's a huge uh, piece of you know really growing our business outside of just doing it the normal way where we're slaving and spinning you know the chair retail is a huge 
um, benefit. So one, retail adds another stream of revenue. We're always talking about multiple streams of income and may, many people get multiple streams misconstrued. So a lot of people think that multiple streams of income is I wash cars, you know, I cut hair, I bake cakes, you know, that's not necessarily how you build a successful lucrative stream that has more than one, you know, area of revenue. It's normally when you guys think about a a river or a lake or a body of water, all of them are collectively coming from one body of water. So retail is definitely, hey Jackie, how are you, dear? Definitely another stream of income because it's coming from that foundational um, piece of actually styling hair or being a stylist. And so what makes it official as another stream of income is because you're not all over the place. You know, if you bake cakes, if you wash cars, if you, you got to be too many places. Whereas with retailing, it's just an arm. It's just an extension of what you're already doing, right? So it makes it like really simple. It's like a no brainer. So it adds another stream of revenue. Um, retail also adds a perceived <clears throat> value to your services, right? Or your salon business. Now you guys know there's a level of professionalism that you feel when you go somewhere and the company actually has the products that align with the different services they offer. So there's this thing called perceived value. And what that is, is how the marketplace sees you. It also is what creates a lane for you. So there are some things that you can do in your business and offering retail is one of them that elevates the perceived value that the marketplace has for you, right? The next thing, um, retail shows your concern for your clients. Right? It's not about selling. It's actually just an extension to you offering a great service to your cons to your customers and giving them the right products, right? That they can actually use in order to maintain their hair in between visits. Do you guys think that consumers only want to look great while they're in your chair? That's not the case. They want to look great the entire two weeks or the entire week in between services with you. And some people are afraid to retail because they feel, well, if I retail it, they're going to end up just doing it themselves. No. You guys remember I told you statistically the average consumer has one to four products under their cabinet anyway, right? And they're still coming to you. And so why uh, don't you make yourself that authority figure, that expert in their eyes that can actually offer them the solutions to maintain the integrity and the looks of their hair in between visits? Because they're looking for that, right? And see, this is what happens when you don't retail. Their coworker at work tells them about this amazing product that they get from their stylist. And then they ask the stylist, you know, does she have any more? And they say, yeah, you can stop by the salon. They retail it. So they stop by the salon. And this salon is um, very aware, right, that they're attracting customers and they're wanting people in their business. So when that client goes just to get that retail product, y'all don't hear me right? They have someone greeting them, someone who can explain the product, someone who tells them how to use it, you know, how much to use. And in the consumer's mind, this person is deemed now as the expert. So they've actually opened the door to begin creating a relationship with the client that you service, right? But you didn't offer retail to, so they had to go somewhere else to figure it out. Y'all don't hear me, right? So um, retail also helps with retention. Retention. Do you guys know what retention is? Put me in the comments if you understand what I mean by retention as it relates to um, your salon career. So retention is your ability to retain the customer. You know, when we're in a place where we're only chasing clients, Nine times out of 10, our retention rate is really low. That means the number of times that a customer comes back to you after their first visit. So one of the things that I notice sometimes when consulting is that it's not that people aren't getting new customers, right? They're not maintaining those customers. And so retail helps you to do that because you're the place that they can come to get everything. It creates a sense of loyalty um, from the customers. As I said before, they refer other people. Um, it's, a, it's a 
client attraction system. It's huge, guys. If you aren't using it, then you're missing, you're leaving money on the table, one, but you're doing a disservice to your clients, too, because there's so many people selling things, and you guys know, as a licensed professional, that everything that's being sold does not work. Everything that's being sold in the marketplace today, even some items on Amazon, are not necessarily the full concentration of what the clients actually need to maintain their styles and the integrity of their styles. And this is where you come in as the expert. So the next thing, because I've been saying it this entire time, that uh, retailing does, it puts you in a position as the expert. Only an expert can suggest products and um items that a person can use that will help them enhance their services. Just like when you go to the doctor, he's able to explain to you what you need next or you know, fill out a prescription. One of the things we did at the salon when I, because I owned a salon for, I didn't say that part, I've been a licensed cosmetologist for 24 plus years. And I owned a salon for about 10 years. And maybe about my fourth to fifth, my fourth year in, I converted my salon into a full service salon and day spa. And one of the things we did, we wrote prescriptions, right? I'm dropping a money nugget, right? You guys can use this. Uh, we wrote prescriptions for our clients. So based on whatever services they got, we wrote out you know, what items they would need to maintain those services in between their next visit with us. You guys get that, right? That's what your doctor does, right? And so guys, I want you guys to focus on you know, really establishing yourself as the professional that your clients can count on for all of their hair care needs, right? Not necessarily all of the, um, you trying to learn all of the different skill sets because if your hair, your client is a short hair client, then she nine times out of 10 doesn't need all of the other hair services. But for the most part, the foundational things, you being the professional in that manner, it's going to increase your, your revenue. You can pay your salon rent, your salon suite rent and booth rent without spinning the chair. I actually, uh, this the training that I do, it's called Retail and Profit, is inside a membership site that I have. And you guys can join for only $39.99. There are 12 modules of courses, just like the retail and profit course that you can watch 24-7. Um, you also get to coach with me like once a month if you're going through any of the trainings like the retail profit uh, training and you've taken it and you're like, Miss Tanya, can you help me to individualize a strategy for my unique business? Once a month, I come on and I do a, a large group coaching call with everyone who's in the membership site. So you also get to coach with me. Um, or for those of you who say, this is something that I could use all year long while I'm build, building my business. I have something major I'm working on. Um, I'm driven. I can pretty much walk through those videos on my own. But knowing that I have the, the added support and accountability is going to be huge for me. Uh, there's also an opportunity to join for only $347 for the entire year, right? So you get access to all 12 modules um, every month of coaching with me and then the accountability from the group. The year-long price at this time, because I'm actually um, offering a promotional for this, you save $250, right? So you're getting about five months out of the year um, actually free if you join during this time. It's only for a short time. For those who join for $39.99 a month, you would have a recurring fee of $49.99 per month. 50 bucks is like eating out, right? Um, and whenever you've gotten value of the entire membership site, you can cancel at any time so you're not tied to it. However, if you pay for the year, then you're, you know, you just have access for that full year. But guys, I retail was huge for me when I was a salon owner. I trained my staff. <clears throat> and my front desk on product knowledge. So part of their training, I created a two-week training program for my front desk, and part of their training was product knowledge because they needed to be able to answer some of the questions for consumers when they call. Um, they needed to be able to piggyback off of the conversations that the stylists may have had with uh, their, their guests before they came to the front desk. So retail was huge for us. It was another stream of revenue. It was something that I watched and monitored and had, you know, personal goals for, um, for the salon. So um, one of the, uh, another thing that I, I think, this is what helps you 
like I said, we don't sell retail. We're not really actually selling it. And I tell you guys the secret to uh, causing your retail numbers to really soar quickly inside that training. But this is where a great consultation comes in, right? So are you guys doing like full on consultations with your new clients? Or are they coming in, you sit them down, what would you like today? You maybe look through their hair for like 30 seconds, take them to the shampoo bowl. If that is your system, if that's what you're doing, you're also leaving like so many avenues uncovered as it relates to creating new revenue in your business because a great consultation, if you do an amazing consultation, you don't have to sell the customer the retail, right? Because all of those are in the system that you use for your consultations. So inside my Mind Your Business membership site, I also have a training on how to conduct a profitable consultation. Uh, you also get PDF downloads. So there's a sample consultation form in there with questions to ask that are going to help you conduct a profitable consultation. But throughout your consultation, it's, listen, you're asking them, what are they currently using on their hair in the consultation, right? So you as a professional now know, and I'm dropping a money nugget for you guys, right? Um, this is one of the things I share in the training. But now you know that this is what they use on their hair and you know what's actually better for them, right? And so letting, informing them on what's better, it's, you, you're not selling it right? You're just providing a solution to their problems. And so guys, how many of you know, I need to get back on the ball with retailing. If I can pay my salon rent, salon suite rent, or my booth rent from my retail alone, I can, I can be relieved of some of the stress that I'm currently experiencing. Right? Some of the time that I'm actually spending you know, spin in the chair. If that's you, I invite you to join me inside the membership site. Um, that link is renewfullcircle.com slash MYB membership, renewfullcircle.com slash MYB membership. Those are only two of the trainings on the inside. There are 12 modules of business building and marketing trainings uh, and resources that you guys can use so that you can shift from I think we make it hard. I think we make it a lot harder than it actually has to be, right, um, in, in our industry. And once you get strategies and systems in place, it just starts rocking and rolling. You guys heard me share with you that my client who took the course, her clients now tell them what they want in their package when they're scheduling their appointment. They make requests for the retail products that they want. They send new customers. And now she's taking the opportunity to meet with the new customers about a product to also move them over into her salon space to the other stylists that are in her salon. Retail is huge, guys. It's, it's a lot more than just selling someone a product. So I also want you guys to shift if you've been thinking, well, I'm already charging her $100 for the service. I don't want to mention you know, the fact that she may have to spend any more money. It's a yes or a no. And oftentimes when you're thinking like that, you're thinking from your own space of, of lack. Right, because sometimes we build, well, we always build our business based on what we believe. And so if we believe that it's expensive for us, then oftentimes we eliminate the opportunity to actually provide another level of service to our guests. And so uh, inside the Modern Business uh, membership site, I also have a training on email marketing. And this is where your retail even comes into play in your email marketing, guys, right? So if you're sending your clients and customers newsletters and you already have created a strategy for the year, so you know this is July and this is the promotional offer that I do during July, you drop that inside the newsletter as well. So it's so many ways that... Um, you know, your retail can help you build your newsletters, right? To stay in touch with your current clients. Uh, email marketing is an opportunity for them to, you know, hit the share button and send out to their coworkers at work without having to remember all of the information. So there's so many benefits to retailing and there's so many places that you can market and advertise your retailing because out of sight, out of mind, right? And you know, it, it just works. It just works. I have clients making $700 per day just in their retail sales, right? In one day, just off of their, their retail sales. For some of you, that is 
more than two days behind the chair for you. For some of you, that's more than two days behind the chair with you. So for those of you who'd like to join us, get more information and learn that one thing, the, the secret sauce to retailing, and, and also an opportunity for me to help you create an individualized strategy. Because a lot of times we get information and we know what to do, but how do we make it work for us? So inside the membership site, you have an opportunity you know, to coach with me. Say, Tanya, this is kind of my brand. And I've taken the retail training inside the membership site, but I'd like to get some added information on how I can make this work better for me quicker, sooner, faster, based on what my brand is and my target market, my ideal customer. Um, I love to hear your idea of a strategy for me as it relates to my email. I can do that for you guys and just really help you move to the next level and relieve some of the pressure of feeling tied to the chair. For salon owners, this is a great way for those of you who, I, I did a consultation the other day and this salon owner has five employees, not booth renters, but employees, but she still works behind the chair until like 12 o'clock at night. And so for the things that she was wanting to do for the next level in her business, I just had to be honest with her. I said, you're not going to be able to do it if you're working 12 hours per day behind the chair, right? Because you, you don't have the time to dedicate to working on the business so that you can create new strategies. You, there's no way you can monitor your salon properly. And when I say monitor, I don't mean like you're micromanaging, but that you can discern and be a true visionary that puts real strategies in place. If you're behind that chair 12 hours a day, it's, it's not gonna happen. You're going to have a repeated cycle, um, naturally crowned beauty, how are you? You're gonna have a repeated cycle of you working 12 to 14 hours behind a day. And all of it is a mindset shift. Every last piece of it is a mindset shift. And so retail is an amazing way for those of you who are salon owners, you know, learning how to properly retail and also how to, you know, make that flow into your brand and into your daily, daily, your daily operations and systems is an amazing way to be able to replace some of the income, you know, where you're spending the chair. So if you're saying I make about $700 a day behind the chair and how am on earth am I going to take a day from behind the chair and not miss this money, then you put some great, amazing retail strategies in place that you can you know, replace that income. So the uh, Mind Your Business uh, Beauty Camp <clears throat> membership site is for hairstylists and salon owners. There are some amazing trainings. They have um, PDFs and workbooks where you can actually work things out as you're watching the trainings. And again, an opportunity to coach with me and then be in an environment with other um, professionals. But retail, guys, is the way you can pay your salon rent, your salon suite rent, and your booth rent without spending a chair, right? Without spending a chair. And so it's possible. Um, I use it, uh, retail strategies in my own salon. I'm teaching stylists and salon owners how to strategically um, retail and really relieve themselves. I have clients who are in their garden on Fridays, right? Because we've created strategies that allow them you know, some time freedom. They now value working on their business a lot differently. And many, many stylists and salon owners, they just can't make that mental shift. It's like, if I'm not behind this chair, it's not going to go down. But no, you're creating strategies so that those other streams of re re revenue, whether they're um, your renters or your staff or your retail or um, some other things that you may want to do as it relates to the salon industry so that you can make those things happen so that they not only can replace your income, but supersede um, your income as well. Any questions before we log off today? Any questions as it relates to um, retailing in the salon? Any questions? Okay, guys. Well, if we have no questions, this was day four. Three. I'm actually doing a five-day marathon called Five Ways to Expand and Earn More in Your Salon Industry Career. If you have not caught the first ones, I believe they're still on Periscope, the first two. Um, they're definitely on Facebook. Instagram goes out 24 hours. But you can always go back and watch them at facebook.com slash build with Tanya. 
facebook.com slash build with Tanya. Naturally uh, Crown Beauty, you can actually, it'll go away, but you can find it on my Facebook page. And that was the address I just gave out, facebook.com slash build with Tanya. Day one, two, and three. Um, are up there. And for those of you who want to reach me in some other measure, maybe you have some questions about whether or not the membership site is for you. You can also go to facebook.com slash buildwithtanya, um, click my inbox, and it automatically gives you the information to be able to set up a complimentary call with me. Some of you may be beyond the point of the, uh, the membership site or whatever your needs are. We can talk about where you are. It's a complimentary call. It's called the SOAR call and then figure out what you need for, for your unique individual business, okay? If we have no more questions, I will see you guys. What's tomorrow? Saturday? Um, it's not a normal day for me, but I think I'll do 11.30 again. I'll let you guys know by posting something. I can't do it on Periscope, but um, I'll let you guys know in advance. But for the most part, I believe I'll be back on tomorrow at 11.30. And then our fifth and final day, I'm going to do Monday. So I'm going to skip Sunday and do our fifth day of the marathon on Monday. Hope you guys are blessed. I hope you've shifted your mindset. Um, some of you are in the salon today. Inbox me. Let me know, Tanya, I made a sale today. Tanya, after your live broadcast, I made a sale today. I up-leveled my perceived value to my customers. I gave them added you know, opportunities to maintain the integrity of their hair um, after watching the live today. So just inbox me. Let me know how it worked for you, okay? Have a great day, guys. Peace. How do I do this? Oh, okay.